but maybe you have a goal when it comes to improving your overall mindset. Maybe you have a goal that you set for yourself that you want to, how you guys doing? Hey. Maybe you have a goal for yourself that you want to become a more pleasant person to be around. Maybe you've noticed that relationships don't work very well with you. This is a problem that I've had in the past. Maybe you've noticed that, like, man, why do I not get along all that great with certain family members? Why do I not? Why, why can't I? Why do my friendships not last as long as they probably should? Why, why are there fallouts? Why do, why, do, why do me and, you know, women, why do we drift apart? I've asked myself these questions and, you know, just like most other people, I had a little bit of a victim mentality for a while where I was like, man, all these other people, why are they doing this? Why are certain family members the way that they are? Why are women the way that they are? Why are certain friends the way that they are? Failing to realize that, hey, maybe it's not everyone else on the planet. Maybe it's this guy. What do I need to do to become a stronger person, men mentally stronger? What do I need to do to make myself more worthy of valuable relationships? What do I have to do? What skills do I need to develop to become a better person all around, a well-rounded, better individual? Someone with the characteristics that other people would want in you. Become a more desirable person to be around a more pleasant person to be around more positive mental attitude a go-getter someone that's energetic someone that makes other people feel good a glass half full kind of person how do i become someone like that these are the questions that i asked myself 2013 2014 i wasn't a very positive person back then i was actually quite the opposite much more negative person was not a very happy human being, but I wanted to be. I wanted to become a happier person. So I said, all right, what do I need to do? How do I achieve happiness? How do I achieve positivity? Started studying the art of positivity. Started practicing positivity. I started reading the books, listening to the audios, studying what I wanted to become better at, just like anything else. You want to be a teacher, you're going to have to, you know, go to college and practice, learn about the art of teaching. You want to be a dentist, you're going to have to go to school and learn how to become a good dentist. You want to become a welder, you got to go and learn how to weld and practice welding. You want to be an investor? You got to study the markets and learn about investing and practice investing. Get better at fundamental analysis, technical analysis, evaluating earnings reports. You have to study what you want to be. If you want to be a teacher, you want to be a dentist, you want to be a welder, you want to be an investor. You got to study what you want to become. Well, it's the same thing for anything else. All right, so maybe, maybe I don't want to be a teacher. Maybe I don't want to be a dentist. Maybe I don't want to be a welder. Maybe I don't want to be an investor. Maybe I want to be a happy person. How do I do that? You figure out what the goal is. You figure out who your mentors are. You start setting goals for yourself and then you break those goals down. Start at the end. Figure out what the end goal is and then break it down to smaller achievable steps, things that you can work on. If you have a goal, you want to be at a certain place a year from now. Okay, what do you need to do every single month to make that happen? Once you figure that out, break it down to weekly. What do you have to get done every single week so that you're on track every single month to get to where you want to be a year from now? And break it down even further. What do you have to do every single day? This all goes hand in hand, by the way, with your mindset mentality goals personal finance goals career goals physical fitness goals it all makes sense it's all the same